Hello, Scorpio. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. That I do. And I want to remind you all my videos are time stamped anymore. You can jump right on ahead to the love cards anytime you would like. Just hit that screen right there. It's going to bring up a menu. Click that button right there. And I will be there in a minute myself. But I'm going to chat here before I get on over there. You all know that. Got some thank yous to say. I want to thank you for all your likes. I want to thank you for all your subscribes. Very kind of you. Very supportive of you. Definitely, definitely a plus. Thank you. Definitely want to say thank you to all my Scorpio friends that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. So very, very kind of you, my friends. I appreciate them all, large or small. Scorpio, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. And as usual, I'm going to take a minute or two right here to uh, talk about my other channel. I pretty much have two channels anymore, this one right here, and a subscription channel where I give away lots of tarot decks over there at Rambler Nation. Got seven of them right here that were given away to members of Rambler Nation. For the first half of April, we give away 14 or 15 tarot decks this month over there at Rambler Nation, 40 or 50 t-shirts. I just love giving away stuff. This is what I got right here for April for members of Ramblin' Nation. One of them is going to get their hands on uh, the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. An amazing tarot deck. Uh, the Barbary, I believe that's how you say this artist's name, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's absolutely a gorgeous tarot deck. One thing I am sure about is that it is an amazing tarot deck. A little dark, fun. One of the members of Ramblin' Nation going to get that. This one, this one, the Erotic Fantasy Tarot. Um... It's an adult deck. I'm gonna give it to an adult over there at Ramblin' Nation. This is the Pre-Raphaelite. I believe it's a sister deck of the Mystical Tarot. Uh, Los Cabarro stuff right here. Oh, another adult deck right here. Tarot of Sexual Magic, quite popular and undoubtedly, I know why, it's an amazing deck. This is a fun one right here too. Tarot of the Sweet Twilight. Yeah, that one's fun. And last but not least, definitely the Feast de Resistance, hmm? the Mariel Tarot, second edition. I like this uh, tarot deck right here. They cut all the big black borders off of it, gilded it in silver. It's borderless now. It's absolutely stunning. Whoever revamped this thing, thumbs up from Mike on that. Uh, but definitely giving this away to a member of Ramblin' Nation. First half of April. And when do I do that? Well, every Wednesday night. On my other channel over there, I do a live broadcast. We give away tarot decks, t-shirts. We play cards over there on Wednesday nights. Sometimes on all signs. Sometimes pick a card. <clears throat> and every Saturday night as well, I live broadcast with members of Ramblin' Nation. More tarot decks, more t-shirts. And on Saturday nights anymore, I've been teaching the tarot. I figured I might as well. Giving away so many tarot decks we talk about. We talk about the cards. And then, of course, every Sunday is Sunday Fun Day at Ramblin' Nation. Of course, I share two of those Sundays with the collective, but if it's Sunday night, Mike's playing cards with somebody. So if you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, love to have you. The join button is right down below by the subscription button. If there isn't one on your device, there's always a link in the description of all my videos. It'll take you over to that membership page. And I will see many of you Wednesdays, Saturdays, many, many Sundays. All right, let's do it, Scorpio. Let's take a little look. See, I love right here for Scorpio love team. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. <clears throat> let's tune in. Hey, Tarot, I love team. Scorpio's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Scorpio see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Scorpio's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Appreciate you, my guides. Oh, look what jumped out here, Scorpio. 
Ten Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Oh, this is probably my Scorpio ride here. Ten Pentacles, right? Uh, you know, the quintessential universal dream. May have uh, fired somebody. Because here's an offer coming in. A uh, page of Pentacles wants to talk to the Queen right there. And say, uh... Scorpio, I got a golden pinnacle right here. And then three cups jumped out after that, right? This can be somebody that wants to reconcile with the queen of love right here, male or female. And uh, come live back in a big house, maybe. We're going to see where this goes right here, Scorpio. Interesting cards that jumped out for you right there. Let's cut the deck. Going to throw a, the classic Celtic cross out. Gonna freestyle it and throw some love, throw throw some witch's tarot on it, some love cards. And of course, a couple of majors. Here we go. Interesting cards that jumped out right there. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What's in the heartbeat of the Celtic Cross for Scorpio? Thank you, love team. First card out. Oh, the sun showing up right here. Major Arcana, major life force card. Things uh, could be going, you know, pretty good for you right now, with or without somebody. Probably because there's an offer coming in here, from what I saw right there. Somebody probably sees you as the sun, abundance, prosperity, the good life, Scorpio. You know, <laughs> Who do, well, I'm gonna see what crosses over the sun right here. It's a great card. Let's cross on over top of the sun. Another major arcana, the hermit. Virgo, this is uh, Leo, may mean something to you, may not. But, uh, you know, the golden, you know, the little uh, page of pinnacles that jumped out right there could cause my Scorpio to go inside and uh, take a look at the star right there. Very interesting cards, the hermit. And the Sun card, two major arcanas. Could be taking a look at an offer that's coming in. Let's see what's at the base of the spread. I want to see where this is going right here. We're going to clarify all this. Well, Ten of Cups is at the base of the spread. This tells me that Scorpio, you know, uh, even, even, if the, even if an offer looks bright and shiny, right? What I see right here is the Hermit's going to take a good long look at it. Maybe you did take a good long look at it at one time. This can be a single card right here. You know, somebody that's spending time with Source and all of that. Shining the lantern right on there in that Ten of Cups, you know, and that Ten Pinnacles did come out. This could be the return of somebody. Just saying, with just the cards that have come out right here, Scorpio. And this, this energy, it's been, you know... Quite abundant, I'll put it that way with my readings. A lot of people coming out of the woodwork. All right. Oh, yeah, it's a love offer coming in because I was going to ask, you know, what's this person thinking and feeling about Scorpio? Well, I got the Knight of Cups, right? You make their heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. This is somebody coming, coming in to give my Scorpio an offer. Can be, you know, I mean, this pony right here can, can be that very romantic, yet non-committal lover, right? The part that you don't see is that string of broken hearts that could be behind the pony right there. The waterfall crushing down. Oh, ho, ho. look what jumped out with it, huh? Two of Wands and a Tower. This could say to me that there was a tower in a situation. And Scorpio is um, looking in a new direction. But, you know, there's that wand again. There it is right there. Scorpio looking in a new direction after a tower. The tower source strike in the tower because it wasn't built on a firm foundation. It, was, it shows me that Scorpio trying to let that situation go, trying to heal from it, right? Trying to manifest the sun in your life, talking with Source about it. 
And then there's some kind of offer that comes in right here. Um, more, please. More, please. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Crown in the spread, Scorpio. Star came out. Now, this hermit has a star in the jar. Wow. This is really interesting. And, you know, again, two of wands right there with the world up on top of it. You may have your eye on somebody after a tower situation that was supposed to be sweet, right? Ten cups. Definitely put your order out to the universe. Hey, I want ten cups. I want my happy ever after, right? There's ten pinnacles right there as well. Star card, uh, crowning the spread, which is that card of great hope and great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It is a card of healing. Yet another major arcana. I have three major arcanas on here. The tower, which is Scorpio, Aries. The sun, which can be Leo. And the star, which can be an Aquarius. May mean something to you, may not. Let's see, near future right here. Very interesting very interesting spread. No, oh, three of cups. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you. Very clear to me. Nice cards. They see you as the star. I'm not sure. I think Scorpio's looking in another direction right now. Somebody wants happiness and joy and bliss with their Scorpio. There's no doubt about that. It's a pretty strong connection here from what I can see with the star and the sun. Ten cups, but uh, this is a card of possibly meeting new and exciting people, right? Three cups. Scorpio wants happiness and joy and bliss. I put my order in with the universe, and, uh, well, I got a lover that's coming prancing in right here, but I think it's this tower situation, right? Scorpio looking in a new direction. Do you have your eye on somebody? Star crowns us right here. And this could be meeting somebody new right here. If you haven't met somebody new yet, that's in the immediate future. But it's also a reconciliation from the lover right here, right? This can be a non-committal lover, right? Very romantic. And that, you know, the, the Knight of Cups can be somebody that's always looking for love and then looking for love and looking for love, right? All right. I want you to do what's best for you, Scorpio. And, you know, the hermit tells me that if this is resonating with you, that you're talking with Source, whoever that is to you, about the approach of the lover. Because Scorpio wants their star, right? Scorpio wants ten cups, right? Scorpio wants the sun. So, I mean, you may be considering it. You know what's going on right here. Tell me something. What's Scorpio? Oh, eight wands. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's definitely some communication coming in here for you. Maybe from more than one person, Scorpio, with three cups. And Scorpio talking with Source about it because, you know, I want my ten cups. I want my star. Eight, eight wands, you know. This is uh, about a new beginning. Somebody definitely is going to communicate with you and be rather persistent. This is the only face card that I have at this particular point in time is the Knight of Cups. But definitely forward movement. A lot of communication coming in from my Scorpio. Somebody, somebody wants to make something work with you. Here we go. What do we got? Six of Cups has an exterior influence on this. Sun card, Hermit. Past life lovers, somebody with sweet thoughts and nostalgia. When times are good and things are sweet, with Scorpio. It's like, it's like they don't want to, you know, even think about that because this is very blissful. They are, you know, all of a sudden, now that Scorpio's ready to move, oh, all of a sudden, now that Scorpio's ready to move in a new direction, oh, oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, I got something to say to you. I don't know, Scorpio would be like, mm, I'm talking with Source about all this right here. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups, somebody having sweets. Oh, five swords right here. Five Swords is my card about standing up and doing what's best for you. Putting yourself up in the front of the picture of life right there. Can be manipulation, control, narcissistic behavior, non-committal lover right here that was put in a timeout chair, maybe even fired. 
Here we go. What do we got? Hopes or fears for Scorpio? What do we got right there, love team? Oh, it's the Five of Swords came out. Wow, that's crazy. Right there in the hopes or fears, right? That's the guard up, man. That is the guard up. And, you know, with all this energy right here, right? Eight wands, five swords, the star, the sun, ten cups, and the lover right there. This tells me that this person is going to be very persistent. That, because the name of this card for me is victory at any cost. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Give me, give me the weather overall here for Scorpio. You know... My feeler ain't feeling this, but I want you to do what's best for you. Oh, and a world card came out, crowning the spread right here. Major Arcana. And this is a card about old cycles ending and new cycles beginning. Right after I said my feeler isn't feeling this right here, but I want you to do what's best for you. It's all about your feeler. This can have to do with Aquarius. There's Scorpio right there on this card, the Golden Eagle. Taurus, Leo are all connected with this card right here. It's about seeing yourself as uh, this golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Hangman. Hangman coming out, you know, looking at the situation again. Hermit, Major Arcana right here. Looking at the situation one more time. Six of wands underneath that. This person definitely wants your attention. Six of wands is about desiring somebody's attention because of sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. But five swords is here, and that's, I don't know, not a, not a good card, especially for this noncommittal lover right there. One more, what's on the bottom of the deck? Four of Wands came out. Oh, is that with the star and the sun and the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles is about? Could be some kind of cycle change with this individual with four wands showing up right here, right? The 1111 card. Uh, somebody wants to dance around the maypoles with my Scorpio right here. What do we got? Oh, yeah, Scorpio's right there. Hmm. Death card came out. Interesting card, Scorpio. I want you to do what's best for you. Because this is about death, birth, and resurrection of a situation. Right? Who is this right here? Who's, who's this noncommittal romantic person that keeps prancing in and out of Scorpio's life? Oh, well, that's what they would need to bring in. They would need to bring in that Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, integrity of the crown because this is a sharp sword right it's able to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good which scorpio probably did and you know these old four of wanders right here um if it is a twin flame i i always recommend you know if somebody don't know how to love on you right then you do the right thing by putting them in the timeout chair and let them think about it for a minute and and you know and and this is scorpio thinking about it too Mm -hmm. This is a special, strong connection. The star, the sun, six of cups, right? Was blissful at one time, but something happened right over here where a tower came. Oh, it's five of swords. Five of swords. All right, here we go, Scorpio. There, there is, There is a potential for a whole new world to come in here. So you let me know in the comments. What you're going to do with it, somebody wants to reconcile with you right there. Three of cups sitting by six of cups, sitting by the sun. Scorpio talking with source about it. And the world card is the weather overall. All right. All right. Cutting this deck. Let's play with the witches right here. Let's, let's get a little clarification. See if we can get a little clarity which way this is going to go. Because it could go either way with the world card right there. It's your call. Here we go. Give me something on the sun. And the Hermit in the heartbeat of the Celtic Cross for Scorpio. Thank you, love team. Chariot. Yeah, coming charging in. Uh, this is a strong connection here, isn't there? Ooh, man. Strong connection right here. And, you know, tis the season. Oh, rambling toe. Telling people for a long time, if you're playing with one of these relationships, that this summer right here, 
They're going to be coming out of the woodwork. Let's make sure that they know how to love on you, right? They're coming charging in. It's that chariot. They got a message. They got a message. Scorpio, you're my sunshine. Wow. Look at Nine of Pentacles came out on top of the Ten of Cups at the base of the spread. It's a single card. It's my second single card. The Hermit is a single card as well. So this is about a Scorpio that puts somebody in a timeout chair. Maybe some kind of four wander right there. But this individual right here, you know, this is a minor arcana empress for me. And this person right here, they don't need anybody, right? The person that comes and uh, wants to play with this individual right here needs to have, you know, that tenth coin that fits in there perfectly. They need to be a plus. They need to be a plus right here because this individual is definitely a plus if you can get them to play with you. Ain't that right, Scorpio? I like it. You know, this tells me that possibly since, you know, since they've been gone that you have been flourishing. If that's true, let's remember all that, huh? Now give me something on the old Knight of Cups over here. Hi, Scorpio. Here's my cup. Oh, man, the heart. Boom, diddy, boom, the waterfall. Oh, Lord, help us all, man. Give me something on that Knight of Cups. What's that Knight of Cups about? King of Pentacles. Uh, this is somebody that wants to play for keeps again. Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And, you know, with that situation in a reading like this, I always see it as somebody putting on their, what I would call their Sunday best. Well, let's make sure they're wearing that on Monday, too. Huh? Here we go. Star. Oh, Queen of Swords insisted on jumping up there uh, on top of the star right there. And, that, you know, if it is a divine, right? That do what's best for you, right? Five of Swords right here you already have. But this is the queen right there, and she's got her sword raised up. Whoa, ponies, whoa. Wait a minute right here. Wait a minute, ponies, whoa. Let's talk about this right here. Yeah, and, you know, she has her hand extended, which means that she's willing to talk uh, with this individual, you know. There's a death card here, man. Because they, they need to play right with Scorpio. They do. That looks like they're going to come in with their best foot forward. Scorpio is going to inspect it all real good because, you know, the queen right here, right? She expects regular communication, which there probably hasn't been with five swords <laughs> and the death card. And, you know, to give them credit, you know, this, I'm looking at Hangman right there who's looking at it, Scorpio. It's something on three cups, because that's a nice card about happiness and joy and bliss. But it's definitely about a reunion in this situation, but there could be some other people right there, too. I mean, I keep looking at that two wands, and two wands is about a decision. Wow, Scorpio the Hermit again. So this is still a single card right here after the Queen of Swords communication. Go ahead. You gotta talk with this person and listen to them. There's strong connection here. Six of cups, four wands, all that fun stuff. And then being very persistent. Victory at any cost, eight wands. Why? They want nine of pentacles. They want the nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, a person that I'm reading for right here. I don't blame them. <laughs> all right, give me some on eight wands. Somebody's gonna be persistent here. Somebody's coming charging in with eight wands and, and the chariot. Ooh, with an ace of swords. That's what we need right here, right? Clarity and truth, solid, regular communication. That's the only thing the queen of swords is going to listen to. And they need to fly high like this eagle right there. And if they don't, that's a very sharp sword. Here we go. What do we got right here? Six of cups. Sweet thoughts and nostalgia. With my Scorpio. Uh, the wounded warrior came out on top of that, right? That's somebody's been through the battle. Somebody put my Scorpio through the battle right here. 
But, you know, I got to say, you know, the, the, the sun is trying to shine through there. They're trying to shoot Cupid's arrows of love through that little wall right there. And I have to say about the wounded warrior, the wounded warrior um, has that ace of wands in their hand. They're always about well. <laughs> One last push, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, man. It's your call right here, huh? Definitely your call. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. They may have a shot here. They may have a shot. <laughs> I wish them the best. Here we go. Five of Swords. Mm, the Knight of Pentacles came in, which is a stable offer. I want one more on that right there. I'm telling you, they're going to put their best on to come in here and woo my Scorpio right here. One more on the Knight of Pentacles, please. Oh, the Emperor showed up. Mm -hmm. Emperor, Four of Wands, Death Card, Six Cups, Sun, Star. I think... There's been an emperor, right? Mr. or Mrs. My Way or the Highway. They got fired right over here. And now Scorpio's looking in a new direction. Right? I always see this as the emperor looking at the children, right? Six cups. Sweet thoughts and nostalgia. There is an ace of cups right there. I want one more on that. I want to see what the emperor's going to do right here. That's what I'm looking for, because I'm going to hit that world card next. Come on, give me something on this emperor right here who's been put in the timeout chair. Oh, Queen of Wands came out. Uh, it would tell me that, well, they think Scorpio's a good match for them. You know, there's fire and fire right here. Good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. But somebody that knows their worth. And if you don't show that queen how amazing that queen is, they're not going to play with you no more. Mm -hmm. This person already knows that, this emperor that showed up right here. Maybe a change, maybe a heartfelt change here. You know what's going on. If there isn't, that sword's going to be used right there by Scorpio one more time. I keep looking at that queen of swords and that ace of swords. They need to fly high. If they want to play with this Scorpio, because this Scorpio is double checking with Source about the chariot coming charging in here one more time. Give me something on that world card right there. What do we got? A solid offer. May have taken a hell of a long time for it to come in. But this is the cornerstone, right? This is the coin that would fit that picture right there. Somebody's figured it out. Somebody's figured out that Scorpio ain't going to play with them if they act like a knucklehead. Mr. My Way or the Highway, Scorpio definitely said at one time, well, the highway's right over there. Have a great day. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, a golden, a golden pinnacle come in here. I want one more on this. There's a new start here. Wow, Seven of Pentacles came out. Wow, uh, the old card of divine timing. And there's money there, too. Bottom of the deck, I have Temperance. Michael's working on something here. I'm not going to tell you to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Um, I want you doing what's best for you. Let's see what's under Temperance, which is about patience. And allowing all the cooperative components to unfold. Here we go. Queen of, there's, there's Scorpio right there, man. My queen of love, my queen of cups. Inspecting that love cup right there, my empath. Inspecting that love cup. Mm -hmm. Gonna make sure they love and that love pudding right there. And that's really what I see the whole time right here, Scorpio. They're nice cards. It could be some kind of divine partner if this has been resonating with you. <sighs> Let's see what's underneath that. Well, Seven of Wands is here, though. It might, might, you know, the new sheriff in town, right? The new sheriff in town. Going to be drawing a line in the sand. If they don't play right with you, it's a, it's a card of blocking them. 
Oh, and the wheel came out one more time, which is a card, you know, of looking at life and the cycles that we go through. And we're supposed to ascend up. And if this person is not going to ascend up, right? This is an omen of good luck and good fortune. I, I can't, I can't downplay this read at all. Uh, I think somebody really wants, you know, they're very passionate. Scorpio, right? Uh, they want this passion, right? But Scorpio is going to inspect that cup right there. So that we don't skip one more time, because that's what the wheel can be about. You know, it's like that skipped record right there, right? And we're supposed to ascend up. So hopefully this person wants to ascend up with you right here. It's a fun spread. Oh, it is the king of love. Wow, what a what 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 a what a powerful connection right here. But you know, this can be Mr. or Mrs. Half a Cup, and she's going to make sure that this cup is full. I'm going to let it go at that right there. Scorpio, let's throw a love card on this for Scorpio, please. See if we can get a little more insight on this. Scorpio is going to make sure that they are not offering up a half a cup. Here we go. Children came out. Whatever that's about for you. It's all over here with Six of Cups and this Emperor with the children on there. Maybe children involved. You know what's going on in your world. More, please, for Scorpio. Flirt. Flirt came out. And, you know, there's two wands right here. So, I mean, I really wish this person the best, but Scorpio's after Ten Cups. And Scorpio, you know, these journeys right here really are all about you becoming this self-confident, self-assured, knowing your worth, individual, queen of wands is right here. So Scorpio's already uh, gone through the process, if it is some kind of twin flame journey right here, knowing your worth and how amazing that you are. And... Uh, a flirting. You may be flirting with other people. I saw it the whole time right over there. Obviously, somebody doesn't like that. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Here we go. What do we got? Getting to know each other. Well, like I said, I didn't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater right here, but I think somebody's going to put their best foot forward, right? That's what I see right here. It's on the bottom. Playfulness came out to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. <laughs> All right. All right. Scorpio going to look at somebody. You blessed me. <laughs> you blessed. Scorpio going to look one more time in your direction. Wow. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Major on this, please. Oh, the devil came out. Ain't that interesting. That's definitely a red flag, right? And the wheel came out. Scorpio! And the death card after that. And some kind of uh, sunshine after that. Scorpio, you let me know in the comments if you're going to play with this person one more time. Uh, they had several storylines right here. It could go either way. But there is absolutely... A whole new world coming in here for Scorpio. I see flirting. I see getting to know each other. And then the devil right there can be about releasing self-imposed bondage, right? Yeah, the wheel. Let's fly high, Scorpio. And there's a death card right there, man. Anyway, I love you, Scorpio. Hope you got something out of this. Classic Scorpio read for me, but who doesn't want to? Who doesn't want to play with Scorpio, right? I definitely love you, Scorpio. Do what's best for you. I know you will. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Scorpio. Bye for now.